Hey guys, what's up, Taurus? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This can be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So do what I need to. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also remember it's a general reading. So just take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure to like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. Alright, Taurus. Hope you guys are doing amazing. Alright. Your future for Taurus. So it's coming up. Alright, you got the Eight of Cups, the Lovers, Gemini Energy. Wow, and the Four of Wands. That kind of took like a turn. It's almost like something here. Somebody may have walked away. How with the Lovers, you could have a choice. But it, it looks like you know where you're going or you're ending up at a very solid place. Show me the Eight of Cups for Taurus. Wow. Love is on the horizon. I know that sounds so cheesy, but that's what it is. For some, you may have had definitely a choice there. But with the judgment, it's like that. there's a sound decision. Wow. That you made. Or somebody made the Five of Pentacles, the Emperor. Somebody, something here was up in the air. There was some uncertainty at the very least around the situation. Somebody's walked away from it. They could have straight ghosted it, um, or really just been breadcrumbing. Also, somebody could have been having uh, financial issues. That's a card of loneliness. Like I said, something's trying. It's like it's there. Why the Five of Pentacles? Because it's like, oh, the Three of Swords. Yeah, see, there's that Seven of Swords. For some, there could have been a third-party situation. Not for all, but um, there's a lot of pain around this. Somebody doesn't know how like to move forward at the moment. And when I say that, because the Two of Swords is there. But somebody's hurt. What's that? Show me the Lovers for Taurus. Ooh, the Ace of Wands. You got the Lovers and the freaking Ace of Wands. There could be one card placement, Ace of Wands, some type of temptation here. There's something at the very least that you're very passionate about. What is the Ace of Wands? Because sometimes with that Ace of Wands, like I said, um, the Eight of Pentacles. Wow. All right, so two ways this is going, but. One way, if it is money, it's like it's, it's, it feels like it's not money though. But there's something here that you're working on. So it could literally be career, but with the lovers there and that Ace of Wands, there's something here that, I mean, it definitely could be a person. It could be somebody that you work with. Tell me more about that Ace of Wands. The devil. Capricorn energy. You have some type of temptation coming. This could be like a some like a somebody who kind of breadcrumbs a relationship. This also though can it can be like a love hate thing because with the lovers and the devil, yeah, the six of cups. You have somebody returning. But for whatever reason, the devil, the ace of wands, the six of cups, the lover, like it's like with the the devil and the lovers, there's well, in this situation, it's like the devil that comes in between things. But even with the lovers, there's always that third energy there. So, tell me, oh, you're ending with the four of wands, so. Show me that four of wands for the outcome for Taurus. You have some temptation coming. This could be somebody, this is somebody from your past, uh, who possibly just walked away and, like, vanished. Could have just really been breadcrumbing lately. Show me that four of wands. The ten of pentacles. Oh my goodness. Um, 
All right, look. If this is money, it's completely changing around. It could be like an offer or like with a big firm or something or you're following something that you're passionate about. For others, this is an X returning. But the thing is, there may have been like something that kept coming in between things. And with the devil and... Oh, I see you. All right. With the devil and the lovers here... I mean, the, the devil can be anything from, like I said, a third-party situation to, like, an addiction or something like that. But you're ending with complete stability, home, commitment. Be mindful you got the devil there. Because then we have the Seven of Cups and the Two of Swords. So somebody is still, this is a card of like illusion and fantasy. And this can be like kind of coming at a crossroads. So it's like a decision is being made, but it's almost like a fairy tale to... And that's how it's coming out across because we have the king of wands here so you could be dealing with the aries leo sad you could be dealing with somebody who's very like hot and tempting but at the same time could have a temper a lot of swag this could be somebody who has like their own business an entrepreneur doesn't have to be for some this could be a married man it could be somebody who has like a sex addiction tell me more about that um uh, four of wands your money Things like that are completely turning around. But this, there's something else more to it. The Page of Pentacles and Knight of Cups. For some, they may propose or like offer to like want to take things to the next level to commit. But, and you know, maybe because with the Knight of Cups, there is, there is love there. Uh, and they're coming towards you like a knight in shining armor. But it's also like something, if this is work related, make sure you're not missing anything. But also if it's, um, because for some you have like a proposal coming. Um, but whatever it is, it's bringing you a lot of stability. But there's still something here. Just don't ignore anything in the background. Don't cut off your intuition. Don't block off your heart chakra. Things like that. Because um, trust yourself. Trust your gut on this one. Show me the uh, Seven of Cups. Because it's, it's almost like either something's not something's not being paid, paid attention to. And for some with a devil here, like if this is a situation, a person that kind of keeps going in the same direction, that's kind of what it would be. But your finances, I mean, everything is like turning around right here. But see, there's that two of pinnacles. So as a person, things are still, there's something here that's still not, it's almost like the illusion of stability. I hate to put it that way. But then we, I mean, and remember it's a general reading to me, this part isn't yours, but there's still something here that's like needs to be looked at. Or like finalized in some way on one side. All right, Taurus. I hope this helps. If it resonated, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information below as well. You guys take care, and I'll see you next time.